That's the first 10 minutes of this adventure. It is well past 4 o'clock. Kind of looking like it did with Ron Paul, didn't it? You know, they're going to make their own. Decision. What happened with that? Oh. Thank you. Hey, Robert. That was years ago. Your friends here. Which one? The one well, one to oh, be. That was Alan. Sarah Jo. Who's she? Sarah Jo Wendell. She's the executive director. Okay. okay. Melanie Golanek is the second district uh, one. She's the one that set, talked to you like a dog and said, how's it? Why is Alan standing uh, because he's part of the inside group. And, right, right. Uh, Why was Jane English she didn't even allowed to go in there? She wasn't even a real witness. You can protest, but you can protest to the same people. That's what you just let you know. You're seeing it. It's still going on. Glory. Rebecca That's said you look pretty in that shade of blue. You mean to tell me Rebecca said you look pretty in that shade oh, of blue. Oh, tell her thank you. All that half the people. But folks, um, once again, I'm gonna, and I'll repeat this because I just restarted the camcorder. Uh, I am here at the Republican Party of Arkansas headquarters now. Melanie Golnick has opened the door. So what's the rule now? Can we get in? And Robert, 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 go out the door. Hey, hey, excuse me. Hey, oh, God, hey, what would you expect? Hey, you stupid hey, little hey. thing. Wow. So Melanie Golnick is basically getting barking orders. She told Robert to go outside when he was here. I don't They're already ready to for you. Sir, can you let go of the door? Well, yeah, I'm just holding it open for somebody. I thought we were all going in. How are you doing? So you're addressing it. And now she's smiling because she's uh, she's happy on her power trip that she has. This is Melanie Golnick, the, the second uh, Congressional oh. District Chair. Um, now, if we have a di when we have a district committee meeting, I believe we'll be able to replace her with somebody who isn't a, a rhino and actually has manners. Uh, the other person, I don't know if you can see them, is Sarah Jo Winters. I don't know if you can see them through the reflection. She's the executive director. She, I believe, is hired by the party chair. <laughs> So I'll turn back here and see more discussion on what's happened here in the legal process. So they took in Lori Justice. They didn't allow anybody else. They didn't allow the door to be even be open. So we came here all dressed up. I should have just worn shorts and a t-shirt. So the truth of the matter is, make sure that they hear this, okay? So the truth of the matter is, is that they have misled you people to get you here for this yes. tonight. That was Melanie, this, Melanie Gulenick. This, this entire event is, uh, is completely uh, based on false premises. Oh, the whole letter is false, right? Almost, every, almost everything in that letter, uh, almost every paragraph in that letter is false. Right? Yeah. It's uh, really remarkable how they. Uh, Melanie's the lady there. She's the one that edited the ballot that's in question. She edited it. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. I'm not sure what else is going to happen. Oh, you don't have your phone. I'm just kind of stuck here. Okay. Turn okay. Potter loose on Melanie. Right. Y'all get in. Pamela lives near us. Now this is so we can go to the convention happening tomorrow. Uh, we had an election, a nine-hour process where we obeyed every single syllable of Melanie's orders regarding. Doing the ballots and the nominations. We had Mark uh, Johnson as our parliamentarian. Everybody agreed that that was done at the right time. So, every convention. Hey, Courtney. Hey, Courtney, let me see if I can bring you on. Yeah, Lori went in. Oh, yeah. uh, let me go. I've, I've been told I may be able to look at another location. Let me stop a little bit.